Okay, so let me ask you, Cameron. I, I thought of something else. So, what one rule in the MASL would you change? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Uh, I, I mean, I would change, um, kind of heard us a couple times, but I, I would either make the keeper distribution like they can, everybody can do three lines, or uh, not like no three lines pass at all. You know what I'm saying? Like either everybody can play it from, from in their zone across three lines or nobody can, you know? And I, I just, I mean, the keeper distribution, I love it based on the, um, uh, based on the six attacker, you know, you can have the keeper throw it in the net. Um, but I mean, I just feel it, you know, having the keeper with a distribution, you can throw over three lines versus, or with your, with your, with his hands, could throw with his arms, could throw over three lines versus, He's got the ball at his feet, and now he has to push that yellow line or push that, that line to cross over before he gets three lines. So I would just change that um, to make it just consistent. Uh, I grew up watching the, the two- and three-point scoring system. I thought that was brilliant. Um, but, you know, they chose to do away with that. But um, that's kind of really the only two things that I really see. I, I mean, be, being a player, the, the rules – I know they have new rules that come out kind of every season. They've talked about it. They've done it. I totally understand and get it. Um, I just feel like there's got to be more of an emphasis, whether whether it's on the franchise itself, each franchise individually take that responsibility to give it to their players. But I just feel like there's got to be more emphasis on, you know, how much these rules impact the game. Um, because, you know, I, I'll speak honestly here, you know, the sidekicks the last couple of years, we have new rules kind of thrown at us and, for me, I mean, I love this game. I, I, I you know, I, I'm super into it all the time. So as soon as those new rules become public, I go into them and study them right away so that I know them, obviously. But, you know, some of our newer players or rookies, they're just happy to be on the team. And they get in a game and they're like, what's the three-line pass? And it's like, you know, are you kidding me? And it's like, oh, the keeper has four seconds? I thought the keeper had unlimited time. You know, it's like that type of thing. Um, it just needs to be – I feel like it just needs to be emphasized. And like I said, sometimes maybe the league is saying – hey, guys, here you go. It's your responsibility to make sure you know it or whatever. You know, maybe the, the teams do better or, or maybe, the, you know, the, 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 the you know, whatever. I just feel like there wasn't much of an emphasis on all the new kind of little, like, hints to the rules or little, little kind of changes to the rules that, like I said, I mean, they, they could change a game. I mean, it really can change a game here and there when you're coming down to it. Um, and so – I just feel like there's got to be more of an aggressive push on that to make sure everybody knows it so that we're, you know, we're, we're all playing the game. And then um, I think if we're going to be consistent in terms of uh, across the, the company name, you know, with, we, we played a lot of uh, M2 teams this year in preseason and those guys had no clue what any of the rules were. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, again, totally understand it. They, you know, it's a second division, but again, at the same time, it's like, Okay, well, is the USL doing uh, no offsides uh, than the MLS? Is that different? Or, you know, are they doing a different sub rule than the MLS? No, they're doing the same thing, right? Because it's the same sport. So I just feel like the rules wise, just getting more of a, an emphasis on, on all the rules and making sure everybody knows them um, during the season, I think will help. I mean, it'll, you know, it'll create a lot of this. And I'm guilty of it. I'm one of those players that, you know, I give the referees a hard time sometimes because I think they don't have a grasp of sometimes the rules or whatever. And, you know, again, it's just heat of the moment stuff and I still lose my head a bit. And, and obviously that's, you know, that's got to be one of the areas of the game that I work on even more. I've got to be better at it. But at the same time, I just feel like it'll, it'll eliminate a lot of that confusion when a player thinks, Oh, it's no, it's this. And the referee is like, no, it's actually this. And it's like, Oh, well, I never heard of that, you know, and yeah. you just eliminate that. But just add for a little bit more of a cleaner game. I know a lot of these guys play in, multiple leagues throughout the year uh, and especially I, I would say probably even more so on the m2 and and then the the premier psl level where they, they could be playing in four or five different leagues throughout the year and every league is going to have their own little weird house rule um one that i ran into there are uh are you know i i, I watched the obviously watch msl more than everything else my daughter was at a facility and 
they had one where I, I can't remember the exact, oh, somebody kicked it from behind there, what it would have been on the yellow line, and then it bounced and it went over the wall out of bounds. Well, that was a free kick at the top of the arc. I'm like, wow. well, no, it bounced. And they're like, oh, that doesn't matter. And so, you know, the parents, I'm like, really? Why, why does that matter? It only matters if they kick it out on the fly because that's what the, what the common indoor rule that we are. But yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I, I had thoughts on the three line rule. I'm unlike a lot of other people, I'm okay with having different fields of different sizes. I don't think it gives too much of an advantage because I know those teams aren't playing and practicing on them. Maybe with the exception of Turlock, aren't really going to practice on those fields all the time. They're practicing in another facility completely out, which probably has a smaller field than a 200 by 85 anyway. Um, but I, I think the, the, the three line rule is one of those that it has, it, it almost fits a certain field size. And like, I mean, you guys have seen in Baltimore, when you, you guys can block a shot and get called for a three line violation. It's like, well, how, do, yeah. how is that fair? You know, that kind of thing. Or, you know, the other ones where you got a keeper with, a, with not as big of an arm struggling to clear the ball because he thinks he has to get it all the way down there. Uh, yeah. I just, yeah, get rid of that. It'll even, even things out a little bit. I like that one. Yeah, and I, and, I mean, I, and I go to that too, because that, that's a great point. You know, I, I mean, I would say keepers in this league, they, I mean, those guys are amazing. I respect them so much just for what they do. I mean, the keepers are, are so awesome. But um, it is now because, I mean, now, you know, the league schedules, everybody's playing everybody pretty much, you know. And so, um, perfect example, you know, you go to uh, you go to San Diego, you go to Ontario, and that field, you feel like it's the longest field you've ever played on in your life. I mean, it's so much ground to cover, and you've got keepers that are, you know, uh, you know, Danny Waltman there, Chris Toth there, and they're, they're, they're played for so many years. They know exactly what they're doing. They're throwing like, you know, as far as they can, and they're not even reaching the third line sometimes. And it's so big, but then, you know, Chris Toth goes to, or Danny Waltman goes to Turlock and he's hitting the crossbar with a, with a sling, you know, a, a baseball pitch, right. you know, and it's like, it's like, man, you know, it's just so different. And, and, and again, if the league is wanting to say, Hey, that's what our sport is about. You've got to adapt and be able to do it. Totally understand, but I think it just fit fit a fit a rule set that can happen. I mean, again, if you were to eliminate, yeah, the three line completely, then, I mean, it doesn't really change your your strategy typically if, if you're playing forward and you're playing direct because, you know, you just got to obviously not throw it as far because you're throwing it out of the field, but you're still with the same mindset versus, you know, now you're playing with your feet in Turlock. You, you can't kick it as far, obviously, because your chip shot goes three lines, or in, in Baltimore or in Sonora, same thing. Yeah. So I just feel like if you clear that rule up a little bit, now your, you know, your strategy is still the same. It's just now just variations of, you know, your strength on on what you're trying to do there. So, but yeah, no, that's, that's a great that's a great point in terms of, uh, you know, the, the, the keepers having to prepare differently. This has been in the box. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell icon. So you can follow along as we put out new clips of our live show. And if you want to catch our live show, make sure you head over to our Facebook group page. We have a Friday night live show every Friday, 830 Central Time, 930 Eastern Time. Now, we'll be there unless something happens. Get up, everybody get up, everybody get up, everybody get down, everybody get up, everybody get up.